everyone, welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is Mate One Honey. Last time we tried the Jack 10, it was great. I thought it was fantastic for the price I paid. Told you I'd try to get the 12, got my hands on the 12. I can't wait to open it up. Let's try it out. I'll give you my recommendation at the end. See if it's really different from the Jack 10, that two year old difference. Is it really that much of a difference? We'll find out. Let's get right to it. Let's open it up. Let's do a brief review. I just got this bottle a couple days ago for I think like 80 bucks or so, uh, which is a pretty good deal. Right now, if you look on the internet or any of the liquor store, this 12 year old is going for 400 bucks at the least. I guess a lot of people are looking for it and can't find it. So there's a lot of people who are trying to take advantage of that. So four, five, six hundred dollars is sort of the norm right now for this batch one of the Jack Daniels 12 year Tennessee whiskey. So, so again, Jack Daniels, 12 year old whiskey, 53.5% alcohol, 107 proof. So the 10 year old came in at around 48.5. So it's a good amount hotter than this one. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Let's go for a nose first. It's more fruitier than I remember for the Jack Daniels 10. A little bit more bitey, not as oaky. I remember that one being very oaky, but this one, this one is not as oaky as I thought. Citrusy and fruity, uh, that's what I get. Right. Let's go for a taste. Cheers everybody. me right up. I'm gonna say this up front. Um, the proof on this one is right on the mark. The 10 year old was a bit light on its bite. It's 40 some percent, uh, which is fine for a lot of people, but you know, for the for those people who are looking for a little bit higher proof, a little bit more kick to their whiskey, it was a little bit lighter. On this one, however, it's right there at the sweet spot between 100 and 110 proof that a lot of people are looking for. So I, I taste the proof. Um, and with the proof comes all that longer lasting flavor, right? Better mouth feel. The fruit, uh, the citrusness comes through right through the right through the palate from the nose. Let's go for another another sip. It's a little bit of a, a little bit grainy, like a more dusty um, taste, more deeper taste. Oh, the finish is the is much better than the ten year old, and the slight burn that it go it, it gives you as it goes down. It's it's good. It's quite pleasant. Very impressed. Very impressed on this twelve year old. Like a traditional like a bourbon flavor coming through. Now there's a little bit of oak. Uh, towards the mid palate. Slight bitterness from the oak, but like a really rich, dark maple syrup notes coming through. And the finish is still there. It's still going. Real pleasant, real pleasant. I'm gonna pour the 10 year old and see how it tastes side by side. Here's a 10 year old Jack Daniel. Uh, it's the batch two, 48.5% alcohol. 97 proof. From the color perspective, it's about the same. I can't tell any difference. No, this one is definitely uh, more uh, pungent, more, more stimulating. Not as much fruit notes on this one. Just more oaky and sweet. All right, let's do a little comparison. Jack, 10 year old versus a 12 year old. Here it goes. Yeah, just as I remember, there's a lot of oak, but I taste, because the proof is less, I taste the more sweets. I taste more vanilla, like light maple syrup, maybe a little bit bready, like a wheat bread. There's that bitterness because I just tasted the 12 and the, the proof point, the mouthfeel 
the coatiness is, is still impression in my, in, my, in my mind. It's not as satisfactory. Let's go for the 12 year old now. Between the two, similar profile. That, that oaky, the little bit tannic oaky sets the foundation for both, for both of them. And I could tell they have the similar profiles. This one more lemony, I don't know why. More lemony. This one I could taste a little bit more of the sweetness peeking through. This one, the mouthfeel is is much more satisfactory, more complete mouthfeel, more more generous finish that comes with the 12 year old. I don't know that's because it's two more years in there. I mean, they, maybe the maturation process is a little different. I don't know. But if I compare side by side. You know, it's noticeably rich and the finish is is better, is better. Is it worth $80 uh, for MSRP? Most definitely. I, I think I'd pick it up for $100 without a, without a question if I see it. And if there's any more batches in the future years, I'll probably pick it up for sure for uh, that much. Anything more than that, I would have to think twice because if I'm going over hundred bucks, there's so many things out there that are tasting equally as complex and good and more satisfying as well. But for $80-ish, uh, definitely a solid pickup to, to add to your collection. Definitely good job, Jack Daniels. Definitely a great job, uh, you know, Brown Foreman. Um, I think they did a bang up job on bringing these two, two whiskeys to, to market. People love it. Uh, I know people are, there's people who are like, you know, they're scuffing about it. Like, oh, it's just Dak Daniels. How could it be that good? Oh, it's, it's probably not as good. I think for $80 is, uh, I don't think you, you could go wrong with this one. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. If you have any comments, let me know. Let me, don't, let me know what you think of the batch 12. Were you able to get your hands on it? If so, what do you think about it? Is it really that good? A lot of people are, a lot of the, Whiskey tubers or a lot of reviewers are saying it's one of the best of the year so far. Let me know what you think. If it's that good, share it with me in the comments below. If you don't think it's that good, let me know as well. I'd like to know about it. So thank you so much. Have a good one. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.